Stunning indeed, Carolyn, a trusted member of the team for decades, accompanying them on competitions and to the Olympic Games. Tonight, he's accused of violating at least two of them. My real interest, of course, with dance and gymnastics is my role with USA Gymnastics. He's one of the biggest names in sports medicine. Larry Nasser of Michigan State University was the team doctor for the U.S. women's gymnastics team. Now, two former members of the team, including an Olympic medalist, have accused him of sexual abuse. One of the women has filed a criminal complaint against Nasser with Michigan police. The other has filed a lawsuit in California. In separate complaints, the women tell identical stories of how Nasser allegedly abused them at competitions. This team physician would be allowed to go from room to room to check on the girls. And it's my understanding that this is how he would have access to them. Nasser resigned from the team last September. The reason why he resigned is something that we want to look into because oftentimes what will happen is a large organization will come across information showing that someone is unsuitable. The suit alleges a culture of silence within USA Women's Gymnastics that allowed the alleged abuse to continue for years. There tends to be an atmosphere in many different athletic programs where, um, you know, people do not feel comfortable coming forward for whatever reason. Nasser has not been charged with a crime. His attorney has not responded to my email or call for comment. Again, Nasser has not been charged with a crime. He is temporarily suspended from his duties at Michigan State while this investigation is underway. Reporting live tonight, Curtis Jackson, 7 Action News.